Welcome back to the Goals pregame show. It's time for the Broadcasters Roundtable. Stephen Huff joined alongside the Goals field reporter Nick Bellow and the voice of the New Bedford Bay Sox, Alex Fuse. Now, Nick, I'm going to turn to you first. Of course, the Goals won in extras last night against Mystic Schooners. Uh, talk a little bit about that game and how special it was for Newport. Yeah, it was a huge game for Newport. I mean, they had a pretty decent pitch, pitching performance. And then uh, the, the fact that the battery came alive last night was huge for Newport going forward. And, of course, that puts them just a half game behind Mystic in the standings for second place. It's a three-team race here in late July for the playoffs. Uh, talk a little bit about how important that win was moving forward. Yeah, definitely. Every win in the Southern Division is huge for Newport moving forward. It's, it brings you a little bit closer to the playoffs, and it's especially to get a win uh, to a team like Mystic who you're battling and, you know, you're half game behind, uh, half game behind them and, you know, you're, you're battling for a playoff spot, basically. So it's it, th that game was huge. Now, Alex, I'm going to turn it over to you. Uh, I know New Bedford uh, hasn't been the season you guys have wanted. Last time out against Ocean State. Recap us a little bit for the Newport fans. What's been going on for you guys and specifically the Waves game? The easiest way to explain this season for the New Bedford Bay Sox is it's baseball. You know, we sit at the record 7-21 and 21 on this season, but 21. So, okay, listen to this, guys. 13 of the 21 losses have been within three runs. Seven out of those 13 losses have been within one. In those seven games, 74 runners left on base. They just haven't been able to get that clutch hit to put them ahead of the other team. That's what's been the missing point of the new Bedford Bay Sox. The bullpen you know, it hasn't even been there either that well. So if the Bay Sox can get the clutch hit tonight and if they can really focus and hone in and get the outs needed out of the bullpen, the new Bedford Bay Sox are really potent. They really are. They just have to really play from the first pitch to the last pitch to the best of their ability to try to get another win here tonight. Well, you mentioned playing from the first pitch to the last pitch. Who is going to be out there, you know, pitching that first pitch for New Bedford starting on the mound for them? And Ju Julian Washburn is going to be that starter tonight. And Washburn struggled against Newport the last time faced. But ever since that start, he's been lights out on the mound. He's pitched through six, seven, and almost eight innings of play ever since, you know, in his last three appearances. So the goals are going to have a very tough competitor on the mound in Julian Washburn tonight. So definitely something to keep your eyes on in Washburn, I'm sure. If you're Washburn on the mound that struggled here at Newport just a few weeks ago, you're out here for redemption tonight. 7-21, and 21, they want to make it eight wins. Every single game matters for New Bedford. They just don't want to lose any more games. Well, it should be a good one tonight. First pitch between the goals and base Sox set for 635. Uh, goals pregame show continues next here on the NECBL Broadcast Network. 